to another unexpected results on the Sci-Fi Ever channel. Another card back here. I'll just uh, rip straight into this and let you see what I get. Hopefully it's not good. We get to start with Defiant Strike. One drop point instant combat trick. Always good. Uh, target card, target creature, not target card. Target creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Draw a card. That's what it is. So, a very easy draw a card and a little combat trick. Just to possibly tip a tide for your, uh, for your little battle. Next, we have Crippling Chill. <laughs> Seems to be a very combat heavy uh, uh, pack here. What was the card on the front? Yeah, the Jeskai card was on the front, that's why it's going to be combat heavy. Uh, don't actually pay attention to that. Having a picture on the front makes no difference as to what's inside. Or maybe it does. Maybe you can watch back through all my videos and see if it does or not. Probably doesn't. But yeah, Crippling Chill. Uh, two and a blue, instant. Tap target creature, it doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Draw a card. So, straight off, two combat tricks, both draw a card. Not bad cards. Next, the Inoc Tracker. Five and a red helps the first strike and morph for four and a red, and it's a three three. So, not bad. Hound Scout. Yeah, got a pretty cool picture as well. So, yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't seem too bad. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool card there. Uh, first strike is obviously really good. A 3-3. Three, three. Again, could be used as... The morph effect could be used as a bit of a combat trick. In Tima. It's interesting. Hmm. We then have... Feet of Resistance. Another combat trick. Uh, Seems to be an Abzan on this one. So first we had a Mardi one, then we had a Jesco one, now we have a Tima one, and now we have a uh, Abzan one. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. It gains protection from the colour of your choice until end of turn. Really powerful. Uh, especially in Abzan, which is why I say it's an Abzan one. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but Abzan's outlast rule means that by putting a plus one plus one counter on a creature, you'll give it all manner of abilities. So you might give it lifelink, you might give it first strike, you might give it flying, or all of the above. So there you go. Really good Absan combat trick. We then have Dragon Scale Boon. Another instant. This one seems to be... I suppose it could be Tima or Absan for this one. Sultai might want it, but maybe not as much. Uh, three in a green, instant. Put two plus one plus one counters on target creature and untap it. So, make a creature huge and block. Yeah, the quote is an Absan one. So, again, triggers all your Absan effects. Uh, this seems really good. We then have Molting Snakeskin, one and a a black, not one and a black, it's just a black. Uh, enchantment aura, enchantment creature, or enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus two plus zero, and does regenerate for two and a black. That's pretty good. I like that, it's a cheap enchant. We then have the unyielding Krumar, an absent orc warrior for four, who's a three three, and for one and a white, he can gain first strike until end of turn. Always pretty nice. We're about halfway through the pack already. This has been a fast video. A Mardu banner. I've already told everyone my uh, opinion on, my, on the banners. Basically that they're good mana fixing, but I don't play them. So Another Highland game. I'm pretty sure I pulled one of these in the last pack as well. I've been pulling quite a few of them and they're just kind of weird mascot cards, so there you go. But I've got another one now. 
I was about to say so shift water, swift water glyphs. Um, a Jeskai or Tima blue red land. Isn't that nice? Followed swiftly by our uncommons of dazzling ramparts. A really, really annoying absent card. Oh, I just like this card. But again, it's it's because it's really good. Uh, four and a white defender, one and a white to tap, taps a creature, and it's a zero seven. So it's got a tap down effect like blinding mage and the the only snare caster. That wasn't an ability there. That was an entry for the battlefield, but that kind of thing used for stopping combats. Um, but yeah, and a five drop zero seven defender basically shuts down everything. We have an Abzan Charm. I don't think I've pulled an Abzan Charm before. Uh, so it's an instant. Another, another combat trick. Uh, choose one. Exile target creature with power three or greater. Good against Tima. Draw two cards and lose two life. Good against... Soltai? Maybe? I'm not quite sure who that's aimed against. But that's the black part of the card. And then distribute two plus one plus one counters among one or two target creatures. So trigger all your effects onto some creatures. Seems good. Seems really good. That's very mild against. Then have Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. I have not pulled one of these yet either. It's a basic, or not basic land, it's a land. Uh, tap to add one colourless to a mana pool. Two and tap, add one life for each colourless creature you control. So this seems as if it's going very cru uh, artifact heavy, which then makes Shatter from... is it Shatter from the last pack? Yeah, they make Shatter from the last pack really seem like it's going to be a good card in the future. So yeah, hopefully it does go artifact heavy, because I'll enjoy that. Oh, oh, there's the good card from the pack. Just, just revel in him for a minute. Mm, planeswalkers. Sarkin, the Dragon Speaker, front man, three and two red. For a planeswalker with four loyalty, his plus one ability is until end of turn. Sarkin, the Dragon Speaker, becomes a legendary four-four red dragon creature. With flying, indestructible, and haste. It's pretty ridiculous. So, while he's building up his uh, loyalty, he just becomes a big, indestructible creature during your turns. Uh, minus three to deal four damage to target creature. So that's a more a more defensive ability against uh, things like. Um, Tima with their big creatures, or Absam with their big defenders and things. Um, and his minus six is you get an emblem with at the beginning of your draw step, draw two additional cards, and at the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that ability. Hmm. I don't see that being particularly useful in things like Mardu. Although it might be, if you end up having loads of mana on the, on the, fo on the field by turn 5, then you could just sh like, I discard my entire hand, draw 3 cards, play them all, I have nothing to discard. So you end up just playing out your entire deck really quickly. So it could be good, but I'm not too sure at the moment. His first ability is definitely the best one. And we have a fancy looking island. Mm. But Sarkin, I'm happy with that pull. At the end, no token. Sarkin makes the pack. Sarkin is the pack. So yeah, um, best from the thing. Best from the pack. What word I pick? 
I think, because all the first half was very combat heavy, I think I should pick one of the combat tricks. And so I am going for Fear of Resistance. Or Feet of Resistance, not Fear of Resistance. Just amazing Abzan counter uh, combat trick for two. It just seems ridiculous. You could use it in a Mardu deck. Um, it would still be good in that. You could even use it in a Jeskai deck to keep one of your creatures alive. It just seems like a good, good all-round card, particularly Abzan-based. Sorry, my screen went off there for a second. I'm not sure if you noticed. Know. Probably a darkness came across one side of my face. But yeah, that is a really good combat trick for this set. It just seems really strong. So that would be my pick. This one's definitely got to go straight into a sleeve. Where's the sleeve? Where's the sleeve? Pull one over from here. Take out whatever card was in it at the time. There we go. All, all sleeved up. Protected. He's proud of placing what I've pulled through uh, Khan's so far. Mwah. Good pull. Thank you, Dak. Thank you, Pack. You're doing well. And I shall see you all next time, where hopefully we continue to pull amazing cards. Goodbye.